need the hot water. Good evening campers. People who followed this channel might remember this campsite from about four years ago. I had my fire just there. You can see the black mark where the uh, smoke left its mark. And even the crack in the rock. The rock was overheating from the fire and uh, actually split because it had a bit of moisture inside it. You hear stories about rocks exploding from having moisture inside, but uh, I don't think they quite explode. They just kind of crack when they get hot. At least that's what I've noticed. <clears throat> There's the water source. Just over there, just a really shallow uh, sort of muddy creek, but there is clear water in there when we've got our filter, of course. You've just got to pick and choose which, which parts of the creek you get your water from. <laughs> Not here. Not flowing at all, and there's quite a bit of mosquito larvae in that section. It's nice and calm here in the Australian bush. You might have heard a lot of stories on the in the media about the whole bush being on fire in Australia. That was only a very small section of the country. Take a look around, guys. It's all green. There's no fire damage here. No fresh fire damage, that is. Some of those dead standing trees you can see there, I believe they um, they were damaged by a fire, but that was more than 10 years ago and they're still standing. <coughs> There's one right there. This was the only completely flat spot we could find. A little bit close to those dead trees, but oh well. And what do you know, that block of wood, I was literally sitting on that block four years ago when I made the camping and cooking video at this exact same spot. It's looking good, sweetie? Yeah, yeah. It's looking good. I'm cooking it. The Hilleberg has proven to be the ultimate vestibule cooking setup. Look at that. The old tripod outside the tent. Water filter hanging off the tripod. This all city? All? Yeah. Christina looking just as beautiful as she was eight years ago when she first joined Bush Channel. <laughs> Sweet? Yeah. You're an expert, aren't you now? Don't Completely. Put all that extra spice there. Before it's scared, now it's never scared. First night on a four day camp. We'll get back to you at the next campsite. It's about lunchtime on the, on the next morning, campers. Just thought I'd stop and let you see what the campsite looks like after we've packed up the tent. Most of the stuff uh, is in the bags. There's the surface we're sleeping on. Not completely flat, there's just slight, a slight downward slide, slide towards um, the right there. So it's a little bit uncomfortable when you're sleeping on a surface that's not completely flat. You can't lie on your back always, you can't lie on one side, you just have to kind of lie on the side that's opposite from the direction you're sliding in. Anyone who's done a lot of hiking in the bush will know what I'm talking about. Finding flat ground, completely flat ground, is often a challenge. One of the last things we pack up is the tripod, that's so we can keep our gear off the ground uh, while we're having our breakfast. Also, I like to leave my yoga mat just laid out until we actually leave. That's so I can do some yoga stretches. Well, actually, it's not a yoga mat. It's a thermo a sleeping mat, but that's what we're using it for now. So this is why we like to keep everything off the ground as much as possible. These big jumping jack ant nests, man, all over the place here. Let's get in close. You'll be able to see one of them. 
Got to be real careful where you put your tent because you might wake up with about a million ants inside your sleeping bag. <laughs> That's not fun. Cameras got me high visibility string line set up just in case any cars come along this road. The forest is green, 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 green. Christina, drinking your hot chocolate? Yes. It's good? <laughs> <laughs> and Canvas, just because I know people love to hear about new gear items, something I bought just before Christmas, the Garmin Fenix 6X Solar. I've been hiking two days now, running this all day as we hike along. So all up, I'd say probably 18 hours of hiking. And look at that. 76% battery remaining. Unbelievable, man. Some really nice features on this watch. The solar power being a little bit of a bonus. Um, slightly overrated, though. Don't expect to actually be able to charge your watch with the solar power, but it does give you apparently about a 10% boost. lunch break sometimes there's really nothing to hang your equipment off so while we've stopped here I've just wrapped this four meter rope around this big thick tree trunk wrap it around only just enough rope tied up there so there's me makeshift clothesline Making some clean drinking water. Got my clothes hung up. <clears throat> this way you're not constantly stooping down to pick up your stuff and keep important things off the ground. And the latest water source. Bit muddy, but there's some flowing water just down there. And more pristine bushland without any fire damage. Don't believe what you hear in the news, Canvas. Australia is not on fire. It's all green. Peace and tranquility. Look at this, Canvas. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Perfectly ripe and fresh. 40 Australian dollars per kilo in the supermarket. Mmm. Oh, they're everywhere. Heaps of really big ripe ones over there. Don't let those red ones bother you because come back in a week and they'll be black and ready to eat. Come over here. There's some fully, fully big ripe ones right there, man. Look at that. <laughs> Oh yeah, up there. Mm. Oh yeah, look at this canvas down the bottom here, look at this. Mm. 
Doesn't get any fresher than that, man. Dinner time at Camp 3. Rice in one pot, chicken curry mixed with tuna, chicken curry flavour that is, with tuna and freeze dried vegetables. All in that massive vestibule. Got to look out for kookaburras here man, that's an Australian native bird that makes a laughing sound. He'll swoop in and steal your meat if you give him a chance. Couple of native birds over there, not quite aggressive. They're called magpies. And once again, pure, green, pristine bushland, man. Around this designated campground. And the hillyberg blends in perfectly. So many bushwalkers out there in the world looking for an adventure. Make sure you come and visit us here in Australia in the Australian bush. Thanks for watching Bush Channel. Bit of salami in there, sweetie. Mixed in with the tuna. Just cooking camp leftovers here. <laughs> On the third night of this hike. You think we're safe in the Australian bush, sweetie? No massive fires coming in to ravage the site. You want me to put all the salami or not? Yeah, maybe. All? Or for tomorrow? Save some. All? It's up to you. <laughs>